my new friend! Are you ready? Fucking Quarho. Yeah, yeah, he played Quarho. Yeah, come on, what up? This your boy Dot. You know. Uh huh. Third general, click a stove. What I call that? And welcome back, y'all. Y'all know what it is. This is your boy, Top Dot. Back with another witty session today. Got my nigga E with me. Yo. We finna give y'all our top five animes because I told y'all I like anime. So, yeah, let's kick it off. My nigga E, I'm gonna let him do it first. Then I'm gonna give y'all my top five. Yeti. You know, there's mad enemies out there. Mad anime, bro. Mad enemies, bro. <laughs> Fucking top five, that's a lot. Yeah. But, uh, you well, know. Actually, not like, not like even top five. Do like your your top five at this moment. Because, you know, it's too hard to just. There's <laughs> it's too many animes and there's too many good ones for you to just say, ah, this is my top five of all time. No, all time. We do top five currently. All right? So, my top five currently. Uh, definitely first off, you know, there's a lot of anime places. Definitely uh, check out Netflix. Yes. Um, two animes I'm about to say are actually animes that I'm watching right now that are really good from the Netflix company. Like, not even no Toei animation or nothing. Like, straight Netflix. So, uh, one is called Sword Guy. Uh, guy is spelled G W A I. So, definitely check it out. Ooh. Um, I like yo, the wordplay. It's, it's official. Yeah. It basically just deals about uh, these 13 demon swords that are spread around the world. Oh, a matter of fact, yes. Yes, I see <laughs> yeah. that. And the demon yeah. swords keep on like blood. Like, yeah. Blood. Yep. Blood. Yes, bro. They want blood. Oh. Uh, basically, like the thing about it is like, you know, if you see a demon sword, you, ta- you get attached to it. Um, two things can happen. Either like you have the will and you can control it. Or you basically the sword will take over you and become a basumo, oh. and that's it. Like fucking the sword's over here taking you out, Damn. taking everybody out out in his path. But Damn. there's this kid. Uh, he's like the main character. Um, literally, he he goes. He was born with the sword. Like he was literally his mother yeah. birthed him, died. That was it. Oh. Um, and he was holding the sword literally at like hours born. To the point where the sword grew on to him and he got in a fight and lost his arm. And his father actually molded the sword into his arm. Oh, so God. like hey, now it's just it's crazy. There's a lot of different swords. Like there's this one guy out now um, who just came into the story who's like he's one of the legendary like swordsmen. Yeah. Like who can just like stop things. And he has like these gold rings. He looks like like some sonic rings. Damn. But yeah, definitely check that out. That that's crazy sword guy. Sword guy. Uh my next one that I definitely love that is on Netflix too, if you get a chance, it's called The Beginning 13. Mm. Uh literally it, it's another it's another weird one. Basically like there's these uh, group of assassins. There's 13 of them, and they're trying to find the lost king, which is this kid that basically works with his grandfather in like a what is it? Like a tool shop. Okay. But like he goes out because he's over here trying to find like his best friend, which is uh, this chick Uni, and uh, basically she's part of it. But they wiped out her memory to go against her or go against him. Yeah. And uh, it's crazy because like he activates it, like he it's really fast. Animation is amazing. Yeah. And like when he when he activates it, he literally <coughs> his left hand turns into a blue sword, mm. and his eyes just go like blacked out. Yeah. And he's just like he's moving. Oh my goodness, that's uh, nasty. Think he fought his brother in like the fifth episode, I think, like mm. in the lake, and he was fucking amazing. Like he had like these dual swords and. They were born, but you know, the young king took it. So yeah, definitely, king. you check that out. Um, it's called The Beginning 13. That's a very good one. Beginning 13. Um, the next one I'm going to say, you know, definitely if you watch anime, definitely like, you know, me and Dot Man, definitely you already know this one. It's uh, Boku No Hero Academy. Yes. Uh, definitely catch it. It's season three right now. Like, fire. Fire all the way, bro. All the way. Fire. 
like the main character is good. Me, my two favorite characters on here right now um, would have to be, damn, I forgot his name, but the half hot, half cold. Oh yeah, um, oh, I forgot his name too. Oh, what is his name? It's dude? like, it's not like Shinkai or something like that. It's, it's, I'm not even gonna mess my, my guy, but that's my dude. My Yo, dude, that... Chan call him half and half. <laughs> <laughs> Chai call him half the half. He be like, you half and half bastard. That's one of my guys. Nah, he's good. <laughs> he's official. And then, um, what is it? The other dude that I definitely like, you know, hopefully we see some more character development with him. Because I think it kind of goes both ways from good and evil. Yeah. Is uh, definitely my guy Stain. Uh, like, I need to know more about him. Like, yeah, yeah you know. Yeah, he, so cut, he cuts you. He licks your blood. Blah blah blah. But yeah. there, there's a lot more to that that they're not showing yeah. because he not really for evil. those three rookies to take him out like that. And he but, was like he wasn't even doing it for evil purposes. I don't think he he had a just purpose to doing it. But yep. but it was just kind of twisted because I think it was twisted by society that they was in. It's crazy. Like I like that one is a must. <laughs> that one sure. is a must. That's Jeez. a must. Uh, the next one. You know, I like it. Hopefully, in like the next thirty episodes, it'll be better. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely check it, Boruto. Yes. You know, Boruto is really good. Mm -hmm. um, char character de development's good. Also, like just showing just the little side characters is good. Love that. Uh, you already know Boruto is gonna be a beast. Yeah. Because everybody's seen like the pictures and they've seen. If you watch the movie, mm -hmm. you see in the beginning of the movie when you know he has. Uh, his own sword or his man, own even Sasuke little, sword. Oh, the little eye thing. With the, oh, little, man. With the curse eye. Or, oh, with the curse. Sorry, man. it's not even the curse guy. It's his Kekai Genkai. Yeah, Kekai Genkai. But like, uh, manifest it. Yeah, it's it's gonna be good. Like, there's really no words. <coughs> Definitely check out Boruto. Test for it out. Um, the other one, yo, it just finished, but the movie's coming out. You already know. Uh, Dragon Ball Super, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, whatever yes. you guys want to call it. Uh, just know. Yes. Akira Toriyama did his thing. His whole production team did his thing. You know, everything was cool between Goku. Oh, my goodness. That last Vegeta, fight. Topo, um, Jiren. Like, geez, like, all the different characters in the different universes, like, their powers. Yeah. Amazing. That was nasty. Jiren made me hate him, like him, <laughs> hate him, and then like him again. At all the same, same time. time. I was yep. like, this is, this is too much, Jiren. What the fuck are you doing? It's too much, Jiren. You got to... But Goku, I actually, that's why it solidified Frieza as being one of my favorite villains. Because not only is Frieza so slick that he manipulated his way back alive. Even the guys was impressed with this evil bastard. It was yeah. just like, you so evil and you so good at being evil. We're going to put you back in the world. Yeah, yeah come on. Come on. Come back in the world, but we'll, 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 kill, we'll kill you right away. And Freezer also helped pull the story in because that's like, that's Goku's Joker. That's basically Goku's Joker right there. Goku is Batman in that situation, and Freezer is his Joker. Because Freezer is the one that pushed him over the first time to make him what he is now. So you got that. And then on top of that, you also have uh, the rivalry factor of. Him killing his, his like dad, and so he he yep. still don't know that. You know, Goku still don't know all of that. So that could spin off into a whole nother thing. But just did which hopefully the alone. which hopefully you know we see in this movie. Yep, because they did break. It's crazy. All right, we go get off of the holiday because the boy we be sitting here for days. <laughs> for real. But yeah, <laughs> that was my nigga E top five. You know it. About three, three of those. Was uh well t yeah three of those three of those um was my pick too. The Dragon Ball Super was my number one because y'all already know fucking Dragon Ball Super. Jita, Goku, Whis, Beerus, ah y'all already know. Uh, Boku no Hero most definitely. That shit so in bro. Check out Check All Might. Out. All Might. All Check Might's out trip. Stain. Check out fucking the, the League of Super Villains. Check them all out. I have two different ones. This one that one that I watched that y'all should probably check out is the Seven Deadly Sins. That's also a good one. That one I think is coming back to Netflix soon, and 
it's gonna be updated and brand new with a whole new storyline um, coming. That one is nice. Another one that's an OG classic, but y'all should watch too. Hunter versus Hunter. I'm waiting for season two of that to come out over here in America. It's already out over overseas, but we waiting to get the clearance for it to come over here to America so we can get that chopped and screwed so we can watch that. Um, another one, and this is my final one, Mob Psycho 100. Yeah. If y'all don't that, watch yeah, that, a, yeah, you guys have to oh watch my. that. God, I forgot my man. Um, I think his name is Sin. It's like C or Sin or something like that, bro. But Mob, his name is Mob. They call him Mob because the dude is almost emotionless. <laughs> but when he reaches a hundred percent, it goes in. It goes down, bro. And now they got another. Is where now he can reach another level of that 100% that he got. Shit. So he can he can somehow push himself past 100% and go into a whole nother thing. But it was a, a villain that had his similar power. and But he could put like his psychic ability like around his hand and make it like a manifestation. Like, and get the crazy cracking in. Bro, them guys got the fighting. Mob snapped out, went over 100%, wax do a whole world. I was like, man, okay, okay, Mob, Mob Psycho is definitely a good one to catch. Yeah, Mob out. Psycho 100. Psychic abilities into straight raw power, <laughs> amazing. Mm, like, it's, it's, different. Like, it's, it's a way different one. You yeah, know? like Psychic Power with Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> like Green Lantern, like. <laughs> but, yes, nerdy, nerdy, you do it. Y'all know how we do. Uh-oh, hold on. Gotta pull it away real quick. <laughs> yeah. Even though I know it held that damn hard, but <laughs> yes. But y'all know what it is, bro. That's been another witty session. This your boy Top Dot with my guy E. You know it. And we out for today. Holla. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,